Hello, 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 and welcome to this recording. Um, this is the Copper Hill Public Library, our summer reading program 2020. And every Thursday, we're going to have called Tech Thursdays. We're exploring different projects you can use on Scratch. My name is Jennifer Marks. I am the librarian of the Copper Hill Public Library. And for this week, our week two, you learn how to animate your name. So here's an example of something I had done. You can see I just did Jen instead of Jennifer. But here's another kind of thing you can do, you make sounds and make movement. So let's go ahead and get started. So today is animate your name. So some um, first things I wanna um, have you do is very first thing is if you haven't already, I want you to navigate to the Scratch website. It's scratch.mit.edu. And I want you to create an account if you haven't, it's free. You'll need an email address and um, you'll be able to do, if you create an account, you'll be able to save your projects week to week. As well as create anything, you know, venture off on your own. Uh, number two thing I want you to do is don't be afraid to fail. Coding or coding using the scratch may be new to you and so you may mess up. If you feel yourself being frustrated, just take a deep breath. You can take a break, take a walk for a few minutes, and then come back when you're ready to engage again. Um, since this is a recording, not live, you can pause this recording anytime if you need to. Um, you can rewatch it later as much as you need it, and make sure you can learn from any failures you have. Failures are learning experiences. The third thing is just have fun. Um, learning a new skill, it can be frustrating and challenging, but ultimately we want to have fun with this. Um, we want you to enjoy it. If you enjoy it, you'll learn better. So, this recording is going to consist of three parts. The first is where you're going to be start thinking about your project. The second is where I'll show you how to use Scratch to create your project. And the third will be where you, well, when you create it, you can share it. Now, the sharing may happen outside this recording, um, but those are your the three objectives. So, let's begin. First, we're going to start by animating names. So, I want everyone to start thinking, but maybe say your name out loud. You know, listen to how it sounds, how it feels in your mouth, how your mouth moves when you say it. Imagine if the letters or, or letters or parts of your name were visible. What would the letters look like? What color would they be? What type of font? Are they more business-like or like handwritten or futuristic? How would the letters move? Um, both how they move across the room and personally. Like, do they kind of, you know, shake a little bit when they move? Are they graceful? Do they glide across the room? Do they jump and dance? Um, do they make a sound other than the letter sound? Um, so even if you want, close your eyes and actually act out the first letter of your name if you want. Um, do you have any ideas? If not, that's fine. Um, we can look at Scratch and see what we can do. I want to start by watching this little video here. To help get you motivated. Uh, today. Okay, let's watch the video. You can use Scratch to animate a name and bring it to life. Make the letters change color, spin, grow, or interact however you'd like. To get started, we'll pick a background. And then we'll pick our first letter. Let's remove the Scratch Cat sprite. Now, let's make it interactive. I'll make the letter play a sound when I click it. ideas, click the green arrow. Okay, and that's a little tutorial that I'll show you how to access if you wanted to watch it later, but it just gives you an idea of how we can start. So a few things to think about before you begin. Do you want to animate your whole name, a nickname, an abbreviation, or the username? Um, which letter do you want to start with? Is there a letter that you see acting a certain way and you want to start with that one? Um, and then that may affect how you animate, one letter may affect how you animate the rest of your name as well, so keep that in mind. Okay, so step one, you're gonna choose your sprite. So for do that, we'll click on create and you'll choose a letter from the sprite library and you can choose our letters this time, but I'd recommend just starting one and we can go back and do the rest once you get that first letter uh, completed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna go into Scratch right here and I'm actually, I wanna show you, um, when you sign into Scratch, if you're 
wanting to see some ideas what you can do, click on ideas. There's actually tutorials down here, and that's where I got the name to animate a name. Click on try to tutorial. And this is actually where it had that uh, video even that I was showing right here. You could play if you want. Um, you could just close that if you want and see it starts with the sprite. Um, here, we're going to delete that one because that's not what we want. So down here, to the sprite, we're going to search. And we're going to look just for letters. My name starts with a J, so I'm just going to start with J. Now, if you noticed, I kind of did that quickly. Um, there are a bunch of other fonts, too. So there's these ones, if you like these ones better, and these green ones down here as well. I, you know, So once you choose that was your first option, is you choose that. So we got the first letter chosen. So let's see what we should do next. Next, we're gonna make the sprite do something. Um, so when we do that, we wanna start with an event. That's the yellow one. Um, like example of event is like when the green flag is clicked. And then you either choose a motion, which are blue, or a look, which are purple. Then you're gonna test it out, see how it looks, try a few different things so you find out what you like best. You can also choose a control um, block, which are orange, if you want the action to repeat or delay. So let's go back to my scratch screen. And we're going to start with something. So we're starting with an event, which I'm going to do when the ring flag is clicked. There's other ones you can do as well. So you don't have to choose that. And then what I want mine to move. So when the green flag is shaking, I want it to move, go to a random position. You know, and I may also want to change the sound. I can make it say something. I can have it. Um, unfortunately, there's another costume, so I really can't have a switch costume. Um, but I can change its size. Say by 10, but let's just say I want it um, lower than that. I want it only by five. You can do that. And then the control, we can have it repeat. Um, so we can have it wait, we can have it repeat 10 times, and we can put that in here like that. And then you click on this to see what it does. See, pretty quick there. Ooh, moved around really quick <laughs> 10 times. So, what I might want to have it do is wait a second. There, it moves much slower. You can see it better. And it will do that 10 times. So, okay, so let's go back to the presentation. We got it moving now. So, what's the next step? Next, we want to add a sound. So, now that your sprite is active and around, you could try adding a sound. That's the pink color to make it more memorable. Let's go back. And this is sound. We can have it play until done if we want. Let's start that has a meow sound. Let's see what that sounds like. So that's what that would be like if you like that. You can have it change the pitch, change the volume if you want to maybe get it a little softer. To add, you know, blocks in there to get it to do what you want it to do. Next, we're going to choose a new backdrop. Now that your sprite is active and making noise, you're going to make sure you pick a backdrop that fits the look, movement, and sound of what you have your sprite doing. So to do that, we're going to choose choose a background backdrop. We're going to click choose a backdrop in the right, bottom right corner and choose it from the backdrop library. So let's go back to my scratch screen here and over here is a backdrop so click on something and you can choose see there's all you can search you can also if you want something more fantasy music related oh if i want to have mine like maybe on a stage and shows choose that one choose whatever fits best for you now step five is now we're going to go back and choose the other letters the other sprites or the letters of your name and we'll make those do something. So you're gonna go back and basically this thing thing that we did for J, <laughs> for my case, we're gonna now pick some other sprites. So we're gonna pick letters. I wanna pick a different uh, E, so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also pick, I'm just gonna do a, a short uh, hand instead of do my whole name right now. So now I have, Oh, and so now when I want to switch for these ones, I have to make sure I click on them down here because this one is only in J. 
You click on this one, you see there's nothing there. So once again, I'm going to start with events. We're going to do the same thing. When the thing is clicked, instead of doing random, I think I'm going to have it turn 15 degrees. Let's try 180. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, see? <laughs> and I'm also going to have it, I think I'm going to have it talk. It says hello. I'm going to say, um, Maybe not that. I'm going to have it say, where are you? Like it's talking to the other, the other letters. And then control, I might have it wait. And then maybe I'll have it say something again. I don't see you. OK, let's click on it and see. Okay, and one thing I might actually do, I notice is I think I might have it switch the other way. So it switches back. Let's see how it flips. It flipped that way. And it tilts it a little bit. So it's turning. Ah, uh, I didn't change that one. I changed that one to 15 versus the 180. So it's not flipping all the way around like I want. There you go. So now it's flipping all the way around. So you can see if you like that. And then, of course, we also have the other one repeat. If we want to have this repeat, we can do that as well. OK. And now let's go for end. What do we want end to do? Once again, I'm going to do the event when the green arrow and the green flag is clicked. This one, I'm going to have it glide to a random position instead of just appearing there. Um, I'm going to add a sound. We're going to make a pop sound this time. And we're also going to repeat this one 10 times so they're the same. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, that's kind of cool. And if you want to see them all together, click on. All right, and truthfully, I do not like that. I'm going to delete out this uh, meow sound because I do not like that. It's a little too loud. I prefer the popping sound. So. I'll try it again. Let's see, that's what it ends up looking like. So you can choose however you want them to do. And that's the short name. Let's go back here and see what the next thing. Okay, so now we've got a I've got a name anime. You know how to do that. So some more things to try. You may want to try drawing a letter. You want to make it maybe make the letter spin, make it glide, change its size, make the letters talk to each other. I want you to think of um and practice this as much as you like. You can Try something, didn't work, change, delete it, and change it again. You can make a bunch of different animate, you know, different names. You can try your first name, middle name, last name, the whole thing, have a bunch of letters talking to each other and doing stuff. Um, you know, just experiment. Now I want to have some thoughts on this when you're thinking back about this project is what did you like best about this the project you made? What was the hardest part? And if what would you do? What would you change if you did it again? And then you know, do those different things. So I wanted to thank you all for joining us <laughs> so much um, today. That's just a quick tutorial on how to animate a name. You can watch um, the tutorial that the Scratch people make here, this link here. Scratch is here, create an account so you can save your stuff. And I hope to have you guys watching this next week. We'll have a new project with Scratch to learn how to do something else.